he removed the patches. So, you have arrived at last. My name is Hennington. I'm Lord British's Seneschal. I run his daily affairs. He has been expecting you for quite some time. You should go find him right away. He needs to talk to you. It's very important. Everything's important. May I ask you some questions? Certainly not. You need to talk to Lord British. It's very important. Now go. Yeah, right, Avatar, it is you at long last. I sent word seeming ages ago and have awaited your arrival day and night, and now you're here. Welcome back to Britannia, Avatar. Sadly, I fear that I have little to offer you, but what I have is yours. I tell you truly, Avatar, trouble, very serious trouble is afoot in our land, and we need your help if Britannia is to survive in peace and security. What evil has been unleashed in Britannia? I'm not entirely sure. Giant columns have sprung from the ground. My advisors tell me that there is sickness in many areas, poverty in others, and that strife is spreading. I am told that the people have grown discontented with my rule, yet I know not what to do. I fear that only you can solve the mystery of this pernicious darkness, Avatar. I know that I have asked much of you over the years, but we need you now more than ever. Will you dedicate yourself to our survival? On my word. Thank you, Avatar. You have truly given this land a hope for survival. I suggest that you first go to the Dungeon Despise. It is located just northeast of Britain. It is easy to find. Just look for the great column that reaches into the sky. The entrance to Despise is next to the column. Are you in need of more detailed instructions, or do you think that will suffice? No, thank you. I'll be able to find it. Very well. Still, let me give you this map. It is certain to help you in your journeys. Within the dungeon, you will find one of these columns, and with it, perhaps some answers. Of course, you're free to take any supplies that you find here in my castle. In fact, I have had a room upstairs prepared for you, should you wish to use it. There is even some money there. Take it and use it to buy supplies or whatever you may need in town. I will do anything that I can to aid you in your quest. May all of the virtues be with you, my son. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. To be happy to greet the Avatar. To greet the Avatar and welcome him back to Britannia. I'm sorry. Who are you again? To be Vasagralum of the Gargoyles. To be honored to meet you, yet to still be very saddened over my plight. What's wrong, Vasagralum? To have many bad things happen. To have witnessed pride swell in the gargoyle race. To have argued with other gargoyles when they separated themselves by building the dome. To have been banished by my own people. To even have had our Codex Len stolen from us. Why were you banished? How were you banished? To know that my people have lost respect for their traditions since the columns appeared. To have seen my people become consumed with pride and have disagreed with them over the building of a giant dome over Ambrosia. Finally, to have had the people send myself and my servant Desbet into exile. And to be greatly saddened by events, but to persevere. This is terrible news. To agree with you, Avatar, but to hope that things will get better for the Gargoyle people. Do you know who stole the lens? To know nothing of the lens or what happened to it. To only know that it disappeared some time ago. To be unable to read the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. To know that without the lenses, the Codex appears to be gibberish. To hope that perhaps you can help find the lens. I will try to find the lens. To be very grateful to you, Avatar. 
to have hope that things can now improve for the gargoyle people. To greet the Avatar, and welcome. How do you know me? To know the Avatar through stories. To know that Lord British has been trying to summon you. To know the Avatar through Gargoyle Legends of the False Prophet. I'm sorry. Who are you again? To be Vasagralum of the... What's wrong, Vas... To have many bad things happen. To have witnessed pride swell in the Gargoyle race. To have argued with other go to even have had our Codex Lens stolen. What dome are you talking about? To state that the Gargoyles sought to separate themselves from the lesser human race. To have built the great domed underwater city of Ambrosia. To have seen the Gargoyles wallow in pride over their so-called great accomplishment. To advise the Avatar not go there. To warn the Avatar that other gargoyles now look down on humans. I must be going. Farewell. Hello, sir. What is your name? Siona. I'm a musician here in Lord British's court. Lord British has always been a music lover. May I ask you for some information? I'll be happy to help, but I'm afraid that unless you have a musical question, I won't be of much help. I take it that you're quite a music lover. Oh, yes. Music is very powerful and can accomplish some unexpected things. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here's our room. And that's where we are, Lord Bridges Castle, with the mayor's house over there. And down to the left is the cathedral. And over to the right, down the bottom, is the museum. Yeah, not much that is gonna change to the white potion. And this is ah, yeah. Just... Well the map. I just didn't see it. Oh, what's the thing? You can see the eight columns. Now there's more detail in this map than the previous games. This game tries to fill in some gaps in the previous knowledge. History, I should say. People of Seven Isles will disagree. <laughs> Oh, 
Maybe this is the same book as the Marvel Storm. Show you how to do that soon. Champions. Yeah, I don't know that either. I'm sure we're going to have eight in the total. It's seven, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know if I've got twelve people I could have to move. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to have eight. Hello, sir. May I ask you for some information? I'll be happy to help. I take it that you're quite a music lover. Oh, yes. Music is very... Goodbye. Goodbye. sell more than just jewelry and stuff.
I see that you Yes, it's good to see you. Lord British said that you were back and that you may need a few things. So, well, what can I do for you? Well, for starters, you can tell me your name. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lorana the Mage. I didn't mean to be so terse. I'm just very busy. Um, let's see. No, that can wait. Yes. Now, what can I do for you? Can you give me some advice on magic? Hmm? Oh, yes. Magic? Well, let me see what I can tell you about... Uh, no, I can't tell you about that. I, um... Do you know about mana? Yes, I'm familiar with mana. Really? Well, you are somewhat schooled. How about binding? Do you know about spell binding? No. Is that a spell that binds people to something? No, no, no. Spell binding is not about binding people. It's about binding spells. Binding them to your spell book. It's quite simple, really. Oh, bother. I can't quite remember the entire process. But I'm sure that there are mages about town that could tell you. Hmm. Now where is that potion?
I don't know. Maybe it's your first call, yeah. What's going on over there? Swing both ways. Hello, can you give me the stones? Ah. Music tree. So you have arrived at last. My name is Hinnington. I you should go find him right. I've already spoken with Lord British. Then what are you doing here talking to me? Why aren't you out there fixing things? You're the Avatar. You're supposed to be fixing things. Now go on, get busy. Not a plumber. What brings you into the weapons house? I'm a friend. Lord British sent me here to collect some arms. Wait a minute, you're the Avatar, aren't you? Yes, Lord British sent word that you were to be treated with all courtesies and that you are welcome to whatever you need. Say, I don't want to speak out of turn, you being the Avatar and all, but would you like a few tips on fighting and training? You know, just to sharpen your skills. Yeah, I'd like to hear some tips. All right then, would you like to hear about training, weapons, or armor? Tell me about training. It's very important that you seek out as many trainers as you can. Various trainers can teach you various styles of fighting. The more styles that you learn, the better off you'll be. Just remember, there's always someone better out there. Now, I'm a master swordsman and can train you a bit if you'd like. The cost is 300 gold pieces. What about armor? There's a wide variety of armor that you can get, everything from leather to plate. The leather armor is probably the weakest. From there you've got bone, chainmail, and then of course, plate. A full harness of plate is the best protection that you can get, unless you find some magic stuff, but it's expensive. What kind of magic armor is there? Well, sometimes you can find some armor that has been magically enhanced. I've also heard of a fellow down in Trinzic that can make armor out of black rock. If that's true, it's probably even better than plate. I want to hear about weapons. Oh, there are all manner of weapons out there. Some people like mass weapons, maces and things like that. Others prefer ranged weapons, you know, longbows and warbows. Personally, I like swords. There are a variety of sword types out there, but I prefer the plain old broadsword. I also advise that you pick up a bow of some sort. You might start with a novice bow or a longbow. Sometimes your enemy won't be at close range, and you need a projectile weapon. I've got to go. Goodbye. All right then. Goodbye. Right there. Let me get a look at you. Oh, you're the Avatar, ain't you? What in the name of the virtues are you doing down here in this jail? What's your name, guard? My name's Tyson. Do you have people locked up in here? Yeah, it's a jail, ain't it? 
I get the worst criminals down here. Feel free to look around, but don't open up any of them doors. I gotta keep these people locked up. In fact, I wouldn't even recommend that you talk to any of them. I got one mental case in there that's a complete loon, as delusional as they come. I've got to go. Don't blame you. I'd like to get out of here myself. <laughs> yeah, you probably know not everyone in his lips will move. And if I do, I won't even move in sync with the voice. Of course, you can't talk to people behind the bar. Unless they talk to you. There's only two people. Let me out. Oh, why is my head hurting? Have you talked to my friend Shamino? He's uh, standing right near me. He'll vouch for me. Shamino, say something. Speak up. Yes, Lord British. Let him go. <laughs> yeah, the last time he's, uh, last time I did this, he, he said he was Lord British and to go seek the avatar to vouch for him. I would break them. Them later. More important things to do. Stop right there. Let me get over. There's a great deal of space, but we'll get there. When we come back from the dungeon, the spies will do a bit more detail. Good day, sir. Thank <laughs> you.